A flair for the dramatics for the sixth time this season. The Flames come from behind to win a game they trailed in after 40 minutes on Thursday night. It was down by two against the Carolina Hurricanes. They win it in the third period, somehow find a way, and all smiles in the locker room after a big win on home ice. Hi everyone and welcome back inside the Scotiabank Saddle Dome as the Calgary Flames wrap up a long six game homestand and they'll do so in an afternoon fashion as they'll host the New Jersey Devils 2 p.m. start Saturday afternoon to cap off the homestand in an extended two week period at home. We've been talking so much about starts, maybe a 2 p.m. will be the perfect tonic for the Calgary Flames. We talk about the matchup, the New Jersey Devils come in red hot as of late. They've won five of their last six games as they kick off their four game Western road trip with back to back wins. This is the third stop for the Devils as they continue to climb the standing, still sitting on the outside of the playoff picture looking in, but one of the top offensive teams in the league and the number one power play. As for the Flames, well, they snapped their two game skid, another comeback win. In fact, all three wins on this homestand have been come from behind victories and sure they'd like to start better but the resiliency this group has shown in all of those comeback performances has been impressive and no matter how they get it done they're getting it done in the third period yeah you know what I, you know I, you know they got two sifter goals last game but um you know i think the whole game it was a tight game i don't know if it was a two nothing game right off the start it shouldn't have been but you know, I thought I started a whole 60 minutes, pretty good performance, but shows that third period we had to play that way from the start. All right, here's a look at uh, who to watch, starting with a former Flame in Tyler Toffoli makes his return to Calgary where he spent the last two seasons, finished with a career high in goals and points last year, was traded in the offseason to Jersey where he now leads the Devils in goals with 12 on the year. And for the Flames, the hero on Thursday night, Blake Coleman scored his first shorthanded marker of the season, held up as the game winner. Coleman's seven goals are tied for the team lead. He also picked up a helper off that nice face-off win, 100% at the dot, by the way. It was also his 100th career NHL assist. So Coleman continues to figure in offensively for the Flames. As far as the lineup goes uh, for a Saturday afternoon game, well, obviously no morning skates. So we'll wait closer till warm up to find out if there's any changes to the forward lines and D pairings. A couple guys missing from practice on Friday due to the flu. So if any changes, we'll find out ahead of puck drop. Saturday afternoon, 2 p.m., the next-gen game featuring the Devils and the Flames.